What's up beautiful people? For today's news we have Baldur's Gate, Neo 2 and more free games. Let's go! First up, let's talk about the recent sequel to one of the best RPGs, Baldur's Gate 3. Now this installment follows a new story set in the current era of the Forgotten Realms. And few of the selling points for this RPG is its massive map and the game features a whopping 45,000 lines of dialogue. But if you really don't have the time for that, speedrunner Professor Palmer made a huge record by speeding through the game in just 7 minutes. Think you can beat his record? Go check it out right now as Baldur's Gate 3 is available in early access. Next up, Guilty Gear Strive is getting its 7th installment in its franchise and has finally confirmed its release date. The game recently revealed 3 characters, Giovanna, Leo Whitefang and Nagori Yuki. Returning character Leo Whitefang, who made his series debut in the console version of Guilty Gear XR Design, wields two great swords to devastating effect. Nagoriyuki is a brand new character to the series, a techno samurai vampire who wields a huge sword and wears a cool sci-fi helmet. On the other hand, Giovanna can be possessed by her wolf spirit companion Rei, granting her inhuman strength and speed. Guilty Gear Strive is coming to PC, the PS4 and the PS5 on the 9th of April 2021. Moving on, Neo 2 has just dropped their new DLC called Darkness in the Capital. Now this latest edition brings a new weapon to learn, the fists and the clawed fists and a few main story missions. There will also be new enemies, orange ethereal tier gear, smithing text and guardian spirits. And for those who want a good challenge, Darkness in the Capital brings you a new difficulty level, Dream of the Wise. If you like what you see, the expansion is available to download now on the PS4. Up next, Sony has dropped another big reveal on the upcoming PS5 and this time it's about the user interface. So some of the huge upgrades include a new control center which pops up once you press the PS button. The UI also shows the time needed to progress the games you're playing and the completion percentages of those games. You can also take a look at your in-game progress without having to go back to the PS5 dashboard and this is all thanks to the activities feature. The PS5's UI will run in 4K HDR and will be able to capture 4K screenshots and video so don't forget to get your hands on one on November 12th. Last but not least, as per usual, Epic Games Store is giving away two more free games. This time around, you can snag Amnesia at Machine for Pigs and Kingdom New Land. So Kingdom New Lands is a 2D kingdom building sim where you can create your own kingdom while battling it out with some foes. The game looks absolutely gorgeous with its old school graphics, so you really won't want to miss this one. Now what is a free game in October if it's not horror themed? And that is exactly where Amnesia and Machine for Pigs comes in. This survival horror game involves stealth and psychological scares, music and pacing that will get you screaming. They're both free until October 22nd, so go and grab them right now. Thanks boys over for us and thank you guys for watching. Now that you guys have one up, make sure you go ahead and follow EZD Network for more gaming content. See you guys next time.